Hi guys, good morning, welcome back. Uh, so I feel that coding is not just writing a code, but is the exercise every software engineer must do daily to enhance their problem solving skills and also to build the logical capability to think on problem statements, breaking down your problem statement to the unit level so that their solution can be uh, visualized in front of you before writing your code, writing your actual code of that problem. Like this is uh, uh, actually showing the capability of your visualizing capability as a programmer or coder, right? So to start uh, from the beginning, I think, I think the starting data structure for any engineer must be to start with array and and so to continue with this, I also feel that we should start our this daily practice from here and the topic I am starting my daily coding is learning of algorithm based on array data structure. All right. And we will continue our journey to cover stack, queue, hash map, tree, graph and many more. So stay tuned with this playlist to do the daily practice on coding. This time, I also feel that along with this, I have to start with one language, which is primarily the most competitive programmer's choice of language, which is C++. So choosing C++ is not mandatory at all, but it is a good choice. If you are selecting other, any other language of your choice, that is also perfectly all right. There is no issue in it, okay? So you can choose your uh, own preference of language, but for me, I think uh, my background is also C++, so I will prefer to uh, communicate my implementation in C++ language along with other language of choice, maybe uh, Java, Python. So I will also share those code, but I will prefer in my coding exercise using C++ is my choice. So I hope uh, there is no issue in it, but uh, as far as uh, you are concerned, you can choose your own language. There is no restriction. If you choose C++, that is well and good. But even though you are not choosing, I mean, you're preferring other language, which is your of choice, that is also perfectly all right. No issue at all. Also, along with this, I'm also going to introduce some of the key concepts of C++ language, uh, which will prepare uh, your um, capability in that language also. So uh, if you are following in C++ language, you should also look those video in this playlist, okay? Now, uh, let's move on uh, for dividing your current topic, which is uh, learning of algorithm based on array data structure uh, in different level for easy progress and follow up as per your st current status, right? Because I believe that this playlist is for all kind of engineers, either they are a very junior engineer or a I mean, college student or even a, uh, a senior engineer, senior folks who are doing coding from multi years, like 10 years, 15 years. They both, I mean, all these different kind of engineers or uh, buddy engineers, all they can join this playlist for daily practice because this, and I mean, I have just designed this playlist in uh, dividing these, I mean, uh, videos in different levels. That is what uh, I feel. And so, uh, so that it will capture maximum audience um, as a, uh, I mean, daily practice for everyone, right? That is what I have a plan. So let's go to, let's try to understand and I mean, uh, different level what I have decided. Okay, so let's move to the next segment. All right, if you look at this, um, this is called uh, advanced level. And under this advanced level, uh, I have a plan to cover, uh, there are, I mean, six are different type of algorithm uh, based on array data structure. The first is, uh, which is I primarily called as basic operations of linear and binary search, like insertion, deletion, traversal, and searching for linear and binary search, okay? The another segment of um, this uh, advanced level is sorting algorithm. And uh, I prefer to explain three uh, sorting algorithm under this, although I would not implement it because I, will, I believe that if these are the very simple uh, and every engineer has to do by own. So I will share the code for your reference, but I will not going to implement it. But I will explain you what is bubble sort, what is insertion sort, what is selection sort like that. Then another uh, key uh, point, a uh, key algorithm, which I feel that is called two pointer algorithm, right? So uh, let me come to that slide. Also. Okay, so two pointer technique, I already explained. No, uh, currently I'm explaining it. So um, few use case, you can uh, think like a problem of reversing an array or finding a pair with given sum. If you remember, uh, these are few example of problem which is primarily solved by two pointer algorithm technique, okay? The next segment uh, is going to uh, cover sliding window technique. If you remember problems like finding the maximum sub sub array of size K, that would be solved by using sliding window technique. I hope you remember, right? If not, anyway, you are going, to, I'm going to cover it 
uh, thoroughly so you can understand and you can I can give you some example exercise also so that you can solve that problem with me or uh, by own anyway uh, that will help you okay so the next segment is prefix some array okay prefix some array all right and that segment is uh, like uh, under this category we will try to solve static range sum query problems okay and the next segment is cadence algorithm problems like finding the largest sum continuous contiguous sub array if you remember i think this is a very uh, uh, very very famous problem in interview segment uh, most of the time this question is always asked uh, here and there so that's why this is a very good algorithm cadence algorithm and you have to definitely remember it okay so under this advanced level category which is uh, primarily for uh, college folks or um, junior engineer uh, and uh, to start with but it is not like that i am not saying that college engineer can't do advanced level or professional level or expert level of course they start from here and go for another level which i am going to share now uh, but uh, for my understanding like different levels has to be uh, followed sequentially if you are already good at advanced level you should move to the professional level segment and if you are good for professional level move to the i mean expert level segment like that but you have to do sequentially as per your current status and current pathways next segment which is uh, called professional level and i just divided three category right advanced professional and expert it doesn't mean anything uh, like i'm strictly dividing it no it is just for uh, kind of uh, um, give some nomenclature to these levels for your attention that's it so under this category i will follow first advanced sorting algorithm which is primarily uh, the order of n log n kind of complexity algorithm which is merge sort quick sort and heap sort then another uh, segment i am going to follow divide and conquer algorithm problems like finding the maximum sub array sum uh, using the divide and conquer and so on so forth okay the third segment i am going to cover which is dynamic programming on array so uh, problems like longest increasing sub subsequence or maximum sum increasing subsequence these are very handy and most of the time uh, it is designed for certain uh, uh, expectation which is primarily the dynamic programming and uh, this is very lovable question in interview segment i think uh, most of the interviewer are very fond of this question to ask uh, their interview interview right so next segment is um, already dynamic programming is covered yes next segment is bit manipulation techniques problems like finding the single element in an array where every other element appears twice and this is very very uh, uh, good problem to ask i mean to check the understanding of interviewee about the bit manipulation technique not only this problem like many bit manipulation technique can be asked but this is one of the key problem to to check the understanding of interview okay then another segment i will try to cover hashing and its application probably one of the i mean uh, i would say how how can i define it one of the uh, technique one of the problem uh, one of the algorithm or segment of problem which is must asked in each and every interview setup here and there like some problem definitely they will ask you on this hashing and its application that's why it is a very very famous and very very handy especially in competitive programming or coding interview so please be mindful for this segment problems like using hash table or hash map for frequency counting finding sub arrays with the given sum etc these are the few example of problem segment or problems which is going to be asked repetitively in your interview in every company these are the i mean very handy questions to ask you to check your understanding about the hashing and its application then the next segment i am going to cover which is primarily the hashing and its application done then mo's algorithm this is called mo's algorithm and problems like query square root determinant decomposition for range query problems and this is called mo's this is called yeah so the you can pronounce as mo's mo's algorithm all right so this is i mean few segment i have to cover under this professional level i believe that uh, the complexity of these problems uh, is i mean kind of medium to hard uh, usually uh, so you you have to if you are a, a programmer which know already the basics you can directly jump to this level so that uh, you are able to understand the uh, these segments thoroughly because your basics are already good if your basics is not good i recommend go to the advanced level first cover all the basic concept and then come here in this level and then i designed the next level which is the expert level for me this is a super level if you are if you reach your programming level at this level then you are i mean fair enough capable to uh, break the any interview of mang kind of question i mean uh, any kind of fang or mang uh, type of company there is no reason to uh, because uh, other factor may be like the uh, system design interview and your managerial uh, interview or maybe your team level i mean behavioral 
interview. These may these area may uh, be concerned for you, but at least programming level, I believe that if you are confident of this level, then uh, you don't have any issue to as such. So under this category, I'm going to cover the first is called segment trees and binary index T, BIT that is in short form. I would or BIT or Fanwick, yeah, Fanwick tree. So if you remember problems like dynamic range query problems, uh, as an example, I would say like range minimum maximum query or range sum query. These are very handy in competitive programming and most of the time um, here and there you require it. But in uh, in recent time, I see that in Google especially, this segment tree uh, based problems are regularly asked. So that's why, uh, I mean, they are picking the trend of that way. So that's why I, I recommend that you should start uh, practicing those things also for interview now. Then uh, another segment which is advanced dynamic programming. Uh, this will um, this will cater the technique like BIT masking and DP or DP with profile. This is really a really advanced level dynamic programming. So even if you don't know, even though you are not very clear right now with DP with profile or bit masking and DP, something like that. So then I request give me a time to explain you all these in detail in later segment, segment in a separate dedicated video. For now, you just assume that I'm going to explain or I'm going to cover few problems under this category. I will going to uh, implement this algorithm, few algorithms for you first so that you are very much comfortable with these kind of concepts. And this is super, super important for uh, uh, at least the higher level of uh, coding requirement where you are going to give the coding uh, test in uh, Google or uh, maybe uh, Meta or uh, maybe Apple. There you definitely need or definitely get some kind of questions related with these DP and DP with profile or DP with, uh, I mean, advanced level of advanced dynamic programming in general, right? Another segment I believe that which is called sweep line algorithm. This will cover problems involving intervals or points on a line, like finding the maximum number of overlapping intervals. Another segment which is called matrix exponentiation. Exponentiation. This is used for solving linear recurrence, relation and related problems. This is very useful, mind my word. These all are very important. So you have to, if you want to be expert level of uh, programmer, then you have to go through these kind of concepts. Another is a sparse table. This is used for range minimum maximum queries, especially when the array is immutable. And the next segment is called randomized algorithm like quick select for finding the kth, smallest or largest element. This is a very specialized I mean, algorithm, quick select, which is based on quick sorting, if you remember. But more, I mean, many times it is very useful. So I request you to, to I mean, definitely, definitely go through with this randomized algorithm also. And then the next segment is advanced graph algorithm applied to arrays. This is used for finding strongly connected components, shortest path, or minimum spanning tree in grid-like array structure. Okay. So these are the expert level segment I, I'm going to cover in my video. So let me recap again. Uh, one is advanced level. Another is uh, under this advanced level, we're going to cover basic operations, sorting algorithm, two pointer technique, sliding window technique, prefix, sum array, and cadence algorithm. Under professional category, I'm going to cover you the advanced sorting algorithm, divide and conquer algorithm, dynamic programming on arrays, bit manipulation technique, hashing and its application, and Mohs algorithm. Then in expert level, I'm going to cover you segmentary and binary index, BIT, advanced dynamic programming, sweep line algorithm, matrix exponentiation, and sparse table, randomized algorithm, and advanced graph algorithm applied to arrays. All right, so I hope that uh, this is going to be interesting for you. And uh, if you want to improve your coding skills day by day by practicing with me in daily, in the morning time, usually 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. or 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. So then you are most welcome. Otherwise also like at, at your time preference, you definitely go with the playlist. That's why I'm creating this YouTube playlist so that people will opt follow this playlist as per their time, as per their progress, as per their possibilities of, uh, I mean, as per their schedules. But definitely definitely go and follow this also i seriously requesting you all my humble request to all of you please subscribe the channel give the feedback give the improvement so that i will improve those area in the coming videos and it will help not only you it will also help many uh, viewer like you and also it will help me also because as a uh, i mean teacher you will always able to help many people if they are connected and they will ask their query. If it is only one way, like I will go and speak, then it won't give you much value. It won't give me also the sense of responsibility because uh, I don't understand. Are you getting or not? Are you understanding these problems or not? Whatever I'm explaining. 
sometimes the feedback is very important because that's why it is called feedback loop. If you give the feedback, I will work on it and then I will try to remove those kind of issues in the next video. And so it will eventually improve and benefit all the audience which are going to see my video. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening to me patiently and I hope you to join me in the coming video. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for completing this video. And I hope that you definitely have learned something which will help you in your system design interview. Hope to see you in next video with new concepts and skills needed for the system design interview. By then, keep learning, keep improving and keep sharing your knowledge.